the mission begin. Quick review of our goals. Get the Ankara and Sarcophagus. Damn, damn funny, you scared the crap, crap out of the cleaning crew. Now would you put the damn raptor back in its exhibit? Oh, and don't leave your keys lying around, or Marshall will fire your ass. Doesn't seem to be any patrols here. Wish I had some kind of a blueprint of the place. I mean, if you're gonna break in, it just makes sense. It doesn't have to be that detailed, but even basic, like uh, you would have for a tourist or a visitor of this place. So you would have a basic idea where the exhibitions are and where the areas non accessible to public are. Museum of his key. I think that's a solid point. We do have to, and we have the secondary objective of getting some kind of fetish. Was it no? Fetish in the museum. A bit big, like it's very close. To take a quick peek, we need to go. What about here? This place? Here, camera. Museum security, I think we have to go there first. to, if I can, disable security systems, so that's why oh, I'll insist on going to the security office before proceeding. As it's back on us, we don't want to mess with that. I'll save here before going down. There might also be items of interest here. So well, that's definitely a bonus if we find some. I had to use the ability, it was getting very suspicious. So I think it was only a matter of seconds before he would have noticed me.
bad. It's tougher than it looks. The character reacts to being on geom geometry or in very strange ways. So if there's if there's not a if it's not a clear surface, you might get pushed in any way almost any direction very violently down you carved and piece of crap Statue on Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late. Uh, I swear I thought I saw it move. This isn't another gag. If it is, I don't think it's funny. Now oh, I've detected a virus in the attachment of this message. The virus has been guaranteed and noticed. Uh, those keys you found, they're Larry's. I'll tell him you left them in the on. It's time for us to go. door we can go to I feel much better now I think we're on the right path and we have two sets of keys not sure how much of a difference that's going to make okay Dork Jan found them buried in the sofa downstairs and turned them into the lost and found Stop leaving your damn keys all over the place, or ne else next time I'm demanding a finder's fee. Ancient sarcophagus. I can see a... I can hear a camera. There has to be a camera based security somewhere in this level description bottle. Basement key. No, we don't have any, have any keys we haven't used. And there's a guard room also in the middle.
camera spotted us. Uh, I can't go there. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, where can I go? I think in a game like this, when you have to sneak around, those no doors in those rooms should be just for show. Hearing someone coming? Got a key card. Still need the fetish. I did that by accident. My intention was to use a uh, LA to break the window. Doesn't seem to be anything here. We we'll have to wait for them, them to go away. It's going to take some time. Just glad that there wasn't some kind of alarm. But we do have to go through all these places until we find the British. I want to know where the door leads. I can't see any doors here. It's not a door. It's a painting on the wall. That sucks. Is that a pretty? It is. It's not the one we are looking for apparently. Now we only need to find the... Uh, let's look at that item. Is it any actual use for us? A petty statue. You can tell just from holding it that there's something definitely odd and supernatural within it. So, no use for us. I was thinking it might be a... a hard decision. Do we want to trade it or do you want... It, but apparently not. When they want to trade it, hopefully, we will get something useful out of her.
Signal Touch Trail. Trail the one guard. I think there's going to be an alarm. Can't help it. South pretty fast. You don't have the password. Shit, I have no idea what to do. Do I need to use the computer? while he's here. We do have one option. So there's no way to get here without jumping. Computer doesn't jump. So I'm guessing how do we get the Key code. I was hoping the access card would be enough, but clearly not. Hey, I know you're out here. Yeah, I know you do. I need to get an access code from somewhere. I think uh, hacking that might be good enough, but we don't have the hacking skill, so there has to be another source for the code. There was the security room. I just don't see that ending that well. Uh, at least we know we're very unlikely to get killed here.
I going to get? Code. Let's go here. Think about this. We also got one skill book, I think. It's not going to help us move forward. Hey, a paper. Two, three, two, three, five, eight. It's exactly what we needed. Let's look at the skill book. A manual on how to handle locks and doors of all kinds. This book raises your security skill. Oh, security is to... Mm, uh, I think we, it, we could probably raise it to... Three and then rest again. God damn it, I need the. I really need the range combat. Crap, I was gonna save that book for a while. Perception should be raised first. Because it provides an inspection inspection bonus too. And it's a one point cheaper firearms. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing it now is because we don't really need them. This can't kill anyone anyway. Okay, two, three, five, eight. See here. Long. Try something. We really care about an alarm at this point. Pretty sure I had the key. Museum workroom key. So what room is this? There's the key. I get it without killing him. I didn't mean to kill him. It's 
only killed him because I was crouching when I took the item. Okay, now I can open it. Yeah, I'm, I don't get this. I'm guessing it has to s something to do with the alarm. Sarcophagus I here. can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Yeah, what happened to the Ankaran sarcophagus? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen, or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. So what are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Yep. Did you get to examine it at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. And the antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire. An antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. And Gaina? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. It's Cain. Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch, a place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Why don't you believe in Gehenna? As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Any other signs, Gana? What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see, the usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. You're more about thin bloods? Thin bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? How long have you been studying kindred lore? For 300 years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts?
about mutations. The extent to which movies have shaped modern belief systems is extraordinary. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. Yeah, I agree. Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. Goodbye, Beckett. A lot of experience from that quest. I return to Prince and be sharp. Hop in. We'll visit Bishop first. Uh, after visiting the prince, now we'll see what happens actually when after we have visited the prince. I'm not sure. I'm hoping we'll get access to a new area soon because that should trigger some access to new equipment, new weapons, things like that. And at this point, we definitely could use some um, of that new weapon thing. Yes. Here's the item from the museum. Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the Odious Chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. What? Looks like a wet, rotting pig space. Um, thanks. Uh, another question. Yes. Seem a bit preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Yes. Goodbye. Okay, what is it? It's a weird looking thing. Snail like with an eye in the middle. The swirl. Odious chalice. Uh, the, pers the perverse creation of a Timichi flesh crafter. This abomination is forced to live a tortured eternity in servitude to the damned. As you kill enemies, the chalice will fill with blood. Use the chalice to feed from it and gain its sword. It, it, uh, it's a uh, refilling blood pack of some kind. Number of sword blood points stored zero. Hmm. Very useful. Extremely useful. Especially to us since we have a trouble of feeding on some enemies. Although our current blood storage is quite high. Okay, now we'll visit the prince. I'm hoping we'll get access to a new area. That definitely helped me out. Maybe finally get some good weapons. A shotgun is a acceptable weapon at this point, but it's too clip size is too small, a rate of fire is pathetic, so we can't really use it to murderize our target. Suck on you.
Ooh, that was close. Very close to a masquerade violation. One wouldn't matter, really. It's easy to recover from. Oh, excuse me, uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show Ape Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. Oh, Jesus. LaCroix is expecting me. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Yeah, we'll talk later, Chunk. Excuse me. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Yeah, you're respected by everyone in the city for your leadership. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. One respects you now. What's this all about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pike's fall. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Yeah. I didn't bring it back. It was stolen. Stolen? Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you... Treasonous maggot! I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat! Uh, Gary? The Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. I want him found. I want him found. The sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city if it were to fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, I'll find Gary and the sarcophagus. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, yes. but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is... Unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's Baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but... Nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt. And bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Yep. First thing we'll do, we'll visit the Hollywood district. And going there might be what triggers something, so... Going somewhere? Yes. Hollywood. Ain't seen you here before, and if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. And you might be... Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Yeah, I'll head over, over there.
We'll go visit Isaac. He's the baron of this district. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? I'm looking for the Nosferatu. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Yeah, any idea where I can find them? Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. Yeah. What about tribute? Tell me old-fashioned. But this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Yeah, what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item. A movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? You want me to make the pickup easy enough. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Yeah. Uh, I have some questions. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. Fine. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. Now that the courtesy visit is done, we can start exploring this district properly.